So literally just uh, yesterday, uh, Red Dot was um, accused of stealing code from another Godot fork, in this case Blasium, okay? So basically we can see here um, this uh, guy over here, um, which for example here we see this commit that indeed in, in Red Dot that was picked from uh, Blasium, okay? And the things that this change, this commit, uh, wasn't merged in Godot engine, so uh, it only existed in Blasium, and basically Redot took that change that was implemented just in Blasium, and well, they implemented it in Redot. And uh, also here, for example, again, another commit, uh, and I think that here we also have more commits. Actually, I've got the chance to uh, directly have a chat with uh, one of the founders of Blasium, this guy over here. And also I contacted uh, another um, owner or founder of uh, Red Dot, okay? I am not in any of the sides of the discussion, I just want to inform the community on these changes, okay, for you to consider. That's why I actually uh, spoke with the two of them. And well, also the same guy that uh, got the PRs, the changes basically on Blasium and that then when uh, were all supplemented in Red Dot, um, he even closed the PRs, basically the changes that uh, wasn't still merged or implemented into Godot. Um, okay, so here, if you want, you can pause the video and read here the message that uh, he sent. So I contacted one of these founders of, um, of Blasium and basically asked him, uh, does all this have to do with uh, Red Dot actually implementing these PRs into their own project from Blasium? Or does it have more to do with like they don't give in uh, credits, both or what? Because at first um, I thought that basically Red Dot was merging the PRs and that they weren't giving any credit. And I was thinking, okay, how strange that they are doing that, of course. But well, then soon I realized that they gave indeed these credits factually, okay? You can uh, see this um, over here. Cherry picked from Comet Blasium Engine, okay? And there you will see in this comment the person that did this comment, etc. We are going to be talking about uh, Cherry Picks uh, in a second, okay? And basically, uh, here, what, this is what he uh, is stating, okay? So he basically thinks that they are just taking things from Blasium and that then they are saying that uh, Red Dot has done uh, all the work when they are uh, copying and pasting the, the commits, okay, they are taking those commits that the Blasium team uh, have done. And well, then he actually confirms this. Then I also wanted to know like the other side of the discussion and I reached out to uh, another moderator, another of the founders of Red Dot. I basically messaged this person because uh, this was the one that was uh, online, w was actually one of the uh, one of the persons, one of the people that was out there online at the moment that I actually wanted to start this chat. So I said, why not start with someone that is right away online that is maybe uh, more, uh, there is more possibility than that uh, there is an answer as soon as possible. Oh, well, actually, he and actually, well, this person was uh, quite friendly, and well, the version stays the exact same. Okay, uh, basically, yes, indeed, Red Dot merged implemented changes that the Blasium team have made. That is something factual. Okay, that's a fact that has happened. Okay, and that you can validate on GitHub. Now, um, the the main difference between the two sides is the fact that uh, Blasium considered this as a code. Uh, theft, okay, as as if they have stolen a uh, code, okay, and of course uh, they consider this as something that is bad. Uh, but well, Red Dot is just the opposite. They believe that um, in uh, in free and open source software FOSS, by the way, they, they, it doesn't exist such code theft, okay, because of course if it is open source, the code is out there um, for everyone. And actually, well, all these forks exist uh, in a way because of this code theft, okay? And uh, this person basically states that uh, if you complain uh, about getting your code stolen, let's call it, um, well, then that, that you are against these spirits of free and open source software. I will now hear he clarified that indeed the credits were given. He even provided here the link that you can also check. 
So over here, you see this cherry pick from commit and here it is the commit. And if we go over here, here this takes us to Blastium Engine. And well, here we can actually uh, see the commit and all the changes uh, and whatever. And you also see the person that actually did this change, that is Whale State. Um, that is the same one um, that we saw in Blasium, okay, uh, that created the comments that then were uh, like stolen uh, by, by Red Dot, okay. So indeed, uh, the version of both is the exact same one because when I contacted both, I thought that maybe Blasium would say A and then Red Dot would say B, but their versions is the exact same one. They are saying, yes, this happened like this. Um, the main difference between them, once again, is what they consider to be a code theft, okay? And so then he provided this um, this statement over here, see Apple under interactions with VSD, and at first I didn't understand this, so I actually asked him for, for more explanation on this, because, well, personally, I haven't used GitHub, like, to contribute to open source softwares, I've only used GitHub, like, to upload them my repositories and keep my projects and code safe, okay? So when, when I actually started using, like, this interface over here, commits, PR, PRs, um works and more well it, it, it was a little bit complicated for me so well here that this person was so friendly i just um took advantage of the situation i will ask him like super simple questions to be able to understand things a little bit more on context okay and basically he explained that bsd is an open source project operating system so it is once again I, an open source project but it is not a game engine it is an operating system as mac os windows etc um and then that basically Apple uses uh, their code, basically the VSD code, uh, in the core of Mac OS. So basically what uh, this person is, is, I believe, trying to say here is, okay, yes, we have Red Dot over there, which will be Mac OS in this case. And then uh, Red Dot is taking code from another open source um, places, such as Godot and such as Blasium, okay? And these two examples will be BSD okay, being implemented inside of macOS, okay, so the analogy is quite clear, so basically he's trying to state here uh, that, well, this has been uh, done um, in, in other, um, in other uh, open source projects, and once again, he makes it clear that this is part of a open source project, and that even Blasium can take code from their project and directly implement it in their projects. And I also wanted uh, to mention, is this line, basically this one over here of cherry picked from commit since the beginning of the commit? And yes, it was since the beginning of the commit, because uh, let me uh, open this up again. This was done, well, this is yesterday. I cannot see right now the, the hours that have passed. Um, but well, here we see the comment and this was merged literally yesterday. Or actually, actually, if I hover here, I'm going to be so uh, 1 30 a.m. on my time zone, and well, here I can't. But if I go to um, and well, if I hover over here, I see that well, this was uh, once again yesterday. Oh, well, he also explained me uh, what a cherry picking is. So it is basically just grabbing the code that you need instead of uh, every single else. Just like as if you had a tree with cherries, okay, then you probably just pick the cherries and well, the tree, you leave it over there because you don't need it. But well, here the question remains for a lot of people. Uh, you can be either on side A or on side B. You can say, yes, indeed, here Redot is stealing code, is stealing work done by a Blasium contributor. Um, or you, can also, or you can be on Red Dot's side, basically saying, okay, this is open source, everybody owns the code, you can do anything that you want with this code and implement anything that you want inside your own project. Um, so, well, once again, I would love to read your opinion in the comments down below. See you in the next one, and bye-bye.